Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I wanted to do a video today from Nierstein in Germany. And this is the uh, this is a monument here put here to commemorate the crossing of the Rhine by the U.S. Third Army, and that was the 22nd of March, 1945. Um, that was just a few days ago, the anniversary, and. They came down the highway uh, from Normandy, actually. They were in the landings on, uh, on the beaches in Normandy and made their way through, had a tough time. And I have been sometimes disappointed in the commentary I've heard from some of my neighbors here in Germany. Um, a little bit negative about the US military and what they don't realize is because of these guys um, and their sense of urgency, they were in a hurry to do this. So because of these guys and, and maybe the Marshall Plan as well, uh, their parents were still alive to meet up and have them. So thanks a lot to the allies and um, see you in a minute. This is the Rhine, and we're looking to the south here, southerly direction. Uh, over there across the river is where they had the second bridge. So after uh, a while, they built a new one. This concrete here is the foundation of the first one they did. It was a pontoon bridge, and I'll uh, put some links down below. There are video videos made by the people doing this. And I knew some of these guys. My dad was in the Air Force. When he retired, we moved back to Orlando and moved into an ex-military neighborhood. And four of the guys were right here uh, and made the crossing. They're <clears throat> they were on the way to the Frankfurt Airport and to retake the Frankfurt Airport and then obviously all the way to Berlin. And like I said, uh, because of their efforts, the, the war ended sooner than it would have otherwise. And uh, lucky me because my wife was uh, born across the river here and possibly because of what these guys did. Like I said, maybe uh, something had, would have had a chance to happen and she would not even be here right now. So lucky us and all these other people too. This is the German version of the same plaque here. So I'm doing a video. You can, you can stop the video and read this. Uh, in its entirety. I didn't want to read it to you. And this one again too. I uh, wanted to take another video of the, uh, the big picture view here. You can tell by the flags. Uh, this is not very well maintained. And you don't hear much about this story either. I guess people just don't like to talk much about the war. I get it. But um, if you've never heard of the Marshall Plan uh, and you're German, you've got some reading to do because, again, it might be the reason you are sitting there right now. Uh, and the, uh, the Morgenthau Plan sounds so bad now, even after all this time, um, lucky all of you that, uh, that George Marshall was there to have that idea and to make it happen too. And I tell you what, if my dad was here, we'd be hearing about that right there. He would not be happy. That would not be up to the standards. And even the German one is uh, in pretty pretty sad state. So, 
it's also possible it happened to a friend of ours in florida too her family was in germany and the nazis showed up and said we'd like to take your factory away and if you don't leave we're gonna murder you so they did leave they did not get that back after the war they were penniless and some of these people i've heard making some unfortunate comments are sitting on bags of money hectares up there in the on the hill and just in general in germany and so lucky them to then sit around and say ignorant things about friends of mine uh, who were right here with a constant fear of dying to take back Germany to help these people out so anyway we'll talk later That's cool too, but anything, you know, you do is magic. Get the trees, get the trees. I did.